Good morning, it's uh, Neil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have is Thursday, the 1st of February 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, let's see where we stand, folks. Okay, in terms of uh, stats, Asian markets down overnight. You have the Chinese market certainly under pressure. The Nikkei didn't actually get a uh, much uh, expected bounce, uh, up 1.3%. Okay, Hang Seng certainly lower, Chinese market certainly lower, and that was on the back of US equities certainly under pressure yesterday. US equities certainly um, uh, finished more or less uh, uh, flat, shall we say, to a large extent, but certainly was, were dragged down towards the end of the day. Now, you had the Fed certainly on the hawkish tilt, okay, concerns over Apple, uh, concerns regarding Facebook as well, earnings, etc., all those certainly providing a drag on the market, although Microsoft and eBay and PayPal, from what I can understand, certainly beat. Okay, so uh, that's the status quo, folks, in terms of economic data. Let's just go through the fundamentals for this morning. Let's see what's coming up for the day. Uh, just give you an insight here quickly. Okay, so Chinese data, yes, another factor as well. Chinese data came in more or less in line. Uh, slightly better than expected, actually, and that certainly helped sentiment as well to a large extent. Uh, we've had uh, nationwide house prices this morning coming in stronger than expected. Again, that's going to help sterling, help FTSE as well to a large extent. Uh, also, we've got the uh, European or French manufacturing or Spanish manufacturing sorry, coming in slightly weaker. Uh, retail sales out of uh, CHF certainly coming in weaker as well. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, French manufacturing. PMI just coming in now slightly better than expected. Uh, and looking forward to German data coming out very soon. European manufacturing and UK PMI as well. In terms of the US, we've got uh, job court, jobless uh, claims, initial jobless claims, non-farm productivity. We've got PMI data out of the US and ISM prices and construction spending. So again, so a raft of uh, economic data which should be interesting, especially ISM manufacturing PMI post State of the Union speech. Okay, so it seems, certainly seems like a lot of individuals setting into the State of the Union speech. Okay, now let's see exactly what happens going forward in terms of the technical picture. Let's just see. Quickly give you an insight here, folks. Okay, so you see German DAX certainly rally this morning. I expected a bounce yesterday. I didn't put in my analysis, expect a short bounce, a short squeeze bounce from this uh, potential gap fill area. So that's exactly what's happened so far. How much do we bounce? Now you are looking at to carving out a potential HS formation. So as you can see here, folks, right shoulder is certainly being carved out. So you have two gaps below. So from my perspective, especially given the fact that the Euro USD is above 1.24. As we all know, a stronger euro hurts exports, okay? Mr. Draghi failed to talk the euro down, which again has been a drag on European equities ever since, okay? So from my perspective, you are looking for a H&S potential top reversal, okay? So watch out there, from my perspective, certainly looking to flush. Now, you could have a H&S uh, from a normal perspective. You also have a H&S like this. Just, uh, again, the whole concept really is it's don't get obsessed with the actual pattern itself, folks, okay? It's irrelevant if the pattern's perfect or not, okay? What's important really here is that you've got a lower high. Okay, that's all that's important. That's what a lot of people out there carving out uh, as if some, some sort of sculpture, carving out perfect HLS formations. It's totally irrelevant. It's just like a crayon. Think of it as a thick crayon and it's showing you lower highs. As we all know, market's bullish until it makes high highs and higher lows. Once it starts to make lower lows, lower highs, we know it's in a bearish pattern. And therefore, you are looking to close the gaps below. So 12980, and then you've got 12870, especially given the fact that you've got euro above 1.24. Draghi certainly on the hawkish side, a lot of ECB comments as well, certainly on the hawkish side as well, uh, in indicating the end of QE, and that certainly isn't helping sentiment at all, okay? Right, again, European earnings this morning certainly coming in stronger than expected, which in turn has helped the uh, European equities bounce. Okay, so you've got a gap fill here around the uh, 13,320 level, certainly looking for a potential cap there, you can have 313.70 and 13,450 if the market continues to rally. 10 minute chart, you can see we've had a short squeeze bounce, from my perspective that's certainly short lived. If we continue, then you are looking at closing the gap at 13,320. If not, then we're looking to reverse and close the gap below. Bear in mind, US equities certainly were bearish yesterday. Once we get to this level around 13,170, I would certainly indicate uh, exhaustion, or caution, should I say, not exhaustion, caution, with any potential uh, sh further short opportunities. So bear that in mind, okay? Certainly so looking at resistance at 13,10 and then at 13,310 and 13,320. So looking for a move lower there, okay? In terms of uh, French CAC now, this is an index I've just opened up a short position on, looking to potentially flush lower. Daily chart at the moment, I've already explained to you, you've got H&S formation, target 5390 on the downside. Ideally, the gap fill at 5430 and then eventually gap fill at 5330. So French CAC in my eyes certainly remains weak, okay, out of all the indexes to a large extent. Having said that, the FTSE really is the weakest or sick man of Europe at the moment. 
Okay, nevertheless, let's just quickly chart this. Okay, you got double bottom here around the 5460 zone. Certainly, obviously, built a gap there, uh, a base there, like I explained yesterday. You look for a potential bounce, and that's exactly what we're witnessing at the moment. Okay, in terms of the French gag, then you've got resistance around the 5630, 5535 zone. So, again, respect that. You've got unfilled gap below, which you've left at 5480. Respect that as well. So, from my perspective, the short position of this initiated now, looking to potentially take advantage of that gap. Okay, is it a justified gap, unjustified gap? That's the question. Uh, you've got a gap fill around 5480. French cat should pivot back towards that zone. Um, I'm more than happy for it to come back to 5495, and I'll probably be exiting there more than happily, okay? Nevertheless, okay, so that's your status quo on the French cat. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's look at the FTSE here. FTSE flushed, hammered, uh, really has been uh, butchered to a large extent. Uh, ever since we broke out, it was a fake out, okay, above uh, 7585, 7600. And you can see the market flushed ever since. Now, you are looking for a reverse, potentially back lower down to 7460, and that would be even more bearish if that were to occur. So bear that in mind as well in terms of the next potential move. Again, FTSE certainly hammered by uh, Theresa May. I'm not sure why that witch doesn't just ex exit and leave the market, leave the uh, the country for another leader, uh, someone who, could, who has the competency to guide us correctly through Brexit. This individual, um, or should I say Dimwit, really just wants to hold on to power. So... Uh, wholly incompetent leader, not one that I would certainly bear, uh, certainly vote for, certainly didn't. I voted for Cameron last time, he did show some uh, qualities of a leader, uh, but this individual is an absolute numb nuts, okay? So, uh, a clueless woman, okay? Clueless. So, God help us, God help the UK, let's hope for a better leader. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn's 10 times better than her, okay? He has more principles, he uh, has uh, more respect, he has more dignity. Uh, great oratory skills, etc., uh, etc. Et I mean, all round, he, he's probably the ideal package for the UK at the moment, especially in terms of helping the poor and the less fortunate as well. Okay, and that's exactly what's needed in order to revive our economy. I think the uh, uh, this is zero interest rate culture, uh, obviously excessive risk, so on and so forth, uh, especially with regards to landlords and so on and so forth. I think we've already made a lot of profit. Okay. Um, I think it certainly needs to be trickling down, and it isn't trickling down at present. As we already know, Oxfam released a report, 1% of the uh, elite uh, control almost 80% of the resources and 80% and of the wealth. And that certainly isn't uh, equal distribution. So someone certainly needs to redress that, okay? Uh, inequality certainly is the key theme at present, and that it indicates uh, a lot of social strife, uh, certainly is negative. Uh, but put in terms of politics going forward, creates a lot of hatred, a lot of uh, enmity, uh, so on and so forth. So that certainly isn't a good thing, and certainly does it lead to radicalism and extremism as well. So again, this is why we need to tackle that. Either way, that's the status quo. So if we can just trade what we see. Again, let's not try to get too too much politics into it. But again, given the fact that I'm more of a fundamental trader, that always does creep in. Okay. In terms of uh, 10 minute chart, FTSE 100, uh, lower lows, lower highs, certainly flushed. I, I took a short, uh, long position just before on the FTSE 100. Uh, certainly rolled this rally up to uh, 7552, I think, and I exited. As you can see here, we're into that 50%. Lower lows and lower highs certainly seem to be the key theme. Now, I'll be more than happy to uh, go along the FTSE at 7520 again. So if we do flush here, more than happy to buy the FTSE and uh, certainly go along from that perspective. Okay, so that, I think that's a good uh, insight there in terms of European equities. Last but not least, let's quickly bring up the European Euro stocks. Euro stocks here, uh, you can see that we flushed and reversed from 3635. Uh, again, Euro stocks are a buyer. Uh, once we flush back down, uh, you're looking at gap fill here, then obviously 3615. 3615, 3610, more than happy to buy, okay? You can see that we've basically put a double bottom in and that's certainly expected to hold. Double bottom should hold, and then obviously we start to uh, start to potentially uh, move higher. So again, 3600, 3610 is a solid, solid support zone, okay, on the euro stocks, uh, and uh, certainly looking for that to hold and move higher. Okay, I think that's a good uh, summation, really, of European equities. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers, okay, and uh, please be sure to visit CFDs.com, certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.